Well, to understand the difference between a herniated disc and a bulging disc, you really have to understand what a, a disc is. And a disc is a cushion uh, between vertebrae in your back. And the inside part of that cushion is kind of a spongy jelly material. Um, the medical word for that is nucleus pulposus. And the outer part of the disc, you can think of a bunch of layers of saran wrap that hold that inner layer in. And that's called annulus fibrosis. And when a disc bulges, the inside part pushes out on the annulus, but it doesn't actually herniate through or go through the material. When a herniated disc occurs, that inside part of the disc actually goes through the annulus or the outer saran wrap area and herniates out into the spinal canal, potentially pinching a nerve. You know, there are differences between a, a bulging disc and a herniated disc. And I think one thing first is, we, for the most part, we all have bulging discs. And there is um, a definite diagnostic focus or perception that that's going to be a problem, but really it isn't. Just the mechanics of your spine, the structure of you, can just simply, as well as time, cause bulging to the disc. But that doesn't mean you need treatment. Now, a herniated disc is more on the line of there's a problem or pathology. Herniated discs can vary in size, and they can also vary on where they are in the spine. Bottom line though, if they get to be problematic, ultimately if they are problematic, then they might need treatment. 